One of the phenomena of the financial crisis is the reduction, the very strong reduction in international trade that we saw over 2008-2009. This is a phenomenon about which many people have been writing uh, and many people have opinions about what has caused uh, the world trade collapse. In this book I investigate all these explanations. In particular I try to figure out whether deglobalization is something which we should take into account for the near future. So with deglobalization I mean that there is less trade in relation to economic activity. That there is less foreign direct investment in relation to, foreign, uh, to economic activity. This is something new. We don't often see these kind of reductions in international interaction. Actually, for many decades we've got used to ever increasing globalization. So, when there is a point in time that we see negative rates of growth for uh, world trade, then that is something where economists are very interested in understanding the causes and the consequences. Now one of the problems with much of the research that has been done on the world trade collapse is that it neglects the historical evidence of the trade collapse in the 1930s. Actually, most of the research is comparing post-Second World War data and only investigating how the normal pattern of international trade differs from the pattern of trade that we observed during the trade collapse. I think it's a waste of, uh, of evidence if you don't take into account the 1930s. I think we should compare the recent crisis, the recent trade collapse, to what happened in the 1930s. So with this simple idea, uh, I investigate all the explanations which are floating around for the world trade collapse. Many people have argued that the world trade collapse has been caused by in the fact that uh, we have uh, international goods, international comp uh, composites, which are produced in international value chains. And that once there is a disturbance on one side of the value chains, chain, that it will move around the world very, very fast. And they are right. But international value chains also do something else. They breed trust. They are a form of cooperation. And especially during a financial crisis and a trade collapse, that's what you need. Another explanation is that trade credit had been dried up, drying up before the financial crisis and that, that this caused the uh, world trade collapse. But when I take a look at the data, I see that it's the other way around. And finally, there's a lot of talk about protectionism. Now protectionism is bad and we should avoid it. But it was not the trigger of the world trade collapse in 2008. So what's my story? I take a look at trade uncertainty. I argue that this was something which came out of the blue. Nobody was prepared for this shock. People got scared and they changed their pattern of international specialization. And if this hypothesis is true, then we will have for a very long time a big impact of what happened in the, in the last year.